Hi, everyone. Maybe we're live. I don't know. Well, hello. I just wanted to say hi um, from my new craft room. And here's my buddy. We're going to show you a couple of things. I've been working in my studio, which is very fun. I also, well, I have a filter on right now, so I didn't have to put on any makeup, which is nice. <laughs> There's sparkles and everything. So I wanted to show you a little bit. Um, you can kind of see my view back here, and it's very inspirational. But today was stamping in the studio, and I want to spotlight a few things in these next a few days and weeks as we get closer to the holidays. So today we're going to talk about stockings and sweet pets. But first of all, let's take a little look here at the studio, which is very fun. All right, so here we are. There you can see my friend. Oh, isn't she pretty? <laughs> And here's our view. The birds are out there, usually. Here are some friends. And yes, I have a bit of straightening to do, so. <laughs> but, anywho, now, hold on tight. I'm gonna connect you to my camera holder, so close your eyes if you get motion sick. But, here we are. A lot of things to talk with you about today. And I'm just gonna see if this connection's going live on Facebook. I think it is. I'm just gonna hold one second here while we make sure. And I can share with you some of our specials that are coming up. Bear with me one moment. Looks like our internet's a little slow. So there we go like we're rolling so hope everybody's having a good day and let's get to it here well I can't see any any comments so I don't know if anyone's here but that's just how it is I guess all right so let's get to it first things first right now until the end of the month there is a great savings to join Stampin' Up! For $75, you can get $125 worth of goodies rather than the normal price of $99. So if you wanted to pick up some great treats to work on stuff, you can shoot. There we go. I think I lost you for a second, but hopefully it's reconnecting here. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. Okay, anyway, you can, if you're looking at getting a lot of supplies for making your holiday crafts and things, this is the best deal ever. So $75, you'd become an, a member of my team, which is super fun, and that's all you have to do. If you didn't want to do any more, you just got a really good deal on a lot of stuff, or you can just save your... Um, save money by being a discount shopper and staying. Uh, you usually buy about $100 a month um, to stay current after your first four to five months. So it's a really good deal if you're planning on doing a lot of stamping and you need lots of good stuff. Um, otherwise, if you wanted to try and do a little business, you can sure do that as well. But for what a deal. So that is going on now through the end of the month. And the big, exciting, even more exciting news than that, we just found out we're having a seasonal sale, which starts November 16th, which is next week on Tuesday. It's my friend Carol's birthday. And we're going to have 10% off cardstock, 15% off ink, and 20% off dyes. So if you're looking, again, to stock up on things, now is your chance. I do have a code that I have listed in my features or announcements of the page that if you enter this code, um, then it goes into a group little, little workshop um, amount. So I would appreciate that. And then anybody who places $50 and up order gets a bonus holiday rhinestone set from me. So how about that? All right, so it is Stampin' in the Studio Day today because I'm actually able to do some work now on things other than unpacking stuff. So today, my spotlighted item is the Sweet Stocking Set, which is the 
cutest in the first set I got with the new catalog. This is the little mini catalog that many of you got that goes through December. And a quick side note, if you would like to have the new catalog that will be coming out, it's a mini catalog in January, it runs through June. Just let me know. Um, I think there's just a couple of you that might have had an address change, so I might need to get your current address. Well, this set is absolutely so cool. So you can get all of these things that you see on these pages uh, in the stocking. Uh, or you there at my internet. Okay, it's back. <laughs> I'm in this little spot where it's a little tricky to reach sometimes, so I apologize if it kind of comes in and out a little bit <laughs> working out the books. So I made a card earlier, just took a moment with this cute little set. And it took about five seconds really to do it. The hardest thing was just cutting out the pieces. So let me show you what I used. This cardstock is called Cherry Cobbler, which is my absolute favorite in the world now. And I have Cherry Cobbler ink, which is so good. They're so beautiful. And it matches with this whole set. And if you're wondering, well, what other colors match? Neat thing about Stamping Up is they will tell you what colors match usually on the page at some point. So there you can see if you're looking to mix and match things, that's that's your key. So this card was inspired, reconnecting, and she pretty much designed it and I just took it and used what materials I had. I used an embossing folder, which is the bricks. I'll show you that really quick. If I can find it here, in my stack of things. Oh, here it is. Goodness, I'm a little messy. So here is the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. So that, isn't that neat? You can also add ink to that and give it a little bit of color dimension. So that was fun. And then I use just very simple paper. And here is the paper from the suite. Now the neat thing again about this designer series paper is that it's two-sided. So you get all these guys on the back. Here's another one that's this pretty color that matches. And on the back you see there's lights. And here are some more. And you can, you can cut these all out. Wish. And here's one of the colors I use for one of the strips. You can cut around these. You can fussy cut these if you'd like to add these to your card. It's so cute. Look at the little mouse. And this looks like my Danny. All right. And here, oh my gosh, these stockings are so cute. Look at them all. So you can just cut these out and make a very simple card. And look how fun this is. So cute. And this set is great. And did I show you all the prints? The sweater. Oh, here's stockings. So you can actually just cut these out. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> just cut them out. And here's stars. So that's fun. What a great set of paper. All right. There it is again. So you can buy that separate or in the suite. And it is called Sweet Stocking Designer Series Paper. So that's adorable. All right. Then... I have the stamp and die set here. Be careful I don't lose any because I just is. This is stocking dies and you can see all the cool things you get in here. And I've cut a few things out to show you ahead of time. Look at this little cute stocking. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? So that's just cut out of the designer series paper using this one so adorable and you can cut out cuffs out of different this is a velvet white paper that we have so that can go on the top of the stocking if you want just like that and you can add toes and heel um i didn't i thought this paper was so cute by itself i thought maybe i would just add a cuff and leave the rest without the toe and heel, but here is the, actually I put the heel on the toe. So it works both ways. So there's the toe. And 
you can make this really cool tag if you want. So I use this with that really cool blue paper, which is called Pool Party, which is super fun, or you could use that side. So that will make a really neat tag. If you wanted to do it separately, you can do a little hole on there to connect it to your bag. But you've got abilities to cut out some of the little animals on your paper too with these dies. So there was a cat, a little hamster or a guinea pig, and oh no, this is the dog. And then here's the guinea pig right there. So you can cut those out of the designer series paper so you don't have to fussy cut it. And then here's a little, little Santa hat. And then there's a candy cane, some stars, some greenery, things like that. And then there's presents too. There are presents um, in the designer series paper that you can cut out. Oh no, actually, nope, I'm wrong. That is a stamp. Here, here. So you can stamp this and then use the dies to cut and the hat as well. And any of these stockings that you want to stamp too. So you have double double chances for things. You can stamp the animal faces, but they are in the paper as well. So these are really fun. Um, I hope that you take a look at this. If you're an animal lover, give it a thought. It's super cool. One more look at this guy here. Look at that cat. Now this Mary Everything is from this set called Mary Snowflakes, which is just, I love this one, this is very cool. And you can use, um, there's a snowflake die set that comes, okay. So, showed you all of that. And I think I'm gonna be playing with that. If, I don't know if my animal friends are on here, my animal lover friends, but there is a little dog that I saw on the paper. Oh, here it is. All right, this little dog. Looks like a corgi, maybe. So I don't know if my niece Sierra is on here, but look how cute that is. So that would be a really cute card for her. Okay, then, won't keep you too long here. I also wanted to show you a few things that you should check out. You should check out the TaylorMade Tags die set if you're getting ready for holiday stuff. This. Right here is one of the sets I use so, so, so much. And you get all of these little tags and little reinforcers for the hole right here so that it doesn't rip. But if you're excited about making some really cute tags this year, don't miss out on getting this set with the sale that's coming up because they'll be 20% off. I think it was 20. I think so. Alrighty, and then, don't know if you had seen this, this ribbon. This is called Gingham Ribbon. It's black and white, little, little checks. But this ribbon, I just saw that you can actually color this with Stampin' Blends markers. Let me grab one here. These markers right here, you can actually color that. I saw someone had colored this red so it looked like buffalo plaid. So that's very cool. Or cherry cobbler would look very, very good in that. All right, then I wanted to share with you, um, Eden's Garden is a new stamp set and die set and there's paper and embellishments too that come together as a bundle. You can get this, I think it goes through but here's a card that I made adding, this is gold foil that I used, I cut this with one of the dies. And you could take this and these pieces right here, make a wreath if you wanted to. I thought this was just a really, really pretty, pretty set. And the paper is so neat. So make sure you check that out before it's gone. And one more thing before I let you go. This, here are some, swaps I wanted to share with you to maybe inspire you to do some kind of fun crafting in the next few weeks here. So this is a really cute little card that this was just fussy cut with a little Santa and I love how there's just these three little strips of paper added and this is popped up on dimensionals to make that pop up a little bit. So a little bit of coloring, super cute. 
This is a little bear who's cut out of some paper that was celebration paper. And this is a little snowflake under here. And this was embossed with some snowflakes. And look how cute and simple that is. Just very simple. Oh, and look, there's some more paper. What a great, great idea. Just add a little strip of paper in there. And this is just a very simple card using designer series paper cut into strips. Very basic, but so pretty. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of fall, which is nice, a nice change since we are in fall. Look at this little guy. Very simple card, little simple stamping, and then these layers added to the top of it. This is a very pretty paper too, a little bit more traditional. And, oh wow, look at the colors on this. It's razzleberry color, it's beautiful. So we get a little Thanksgiving in there. All right, so that is it for today. I wanted to just jump on here as it's a kind of my first time really getting back into the, to the groove of things um, after our big move. So don't forget about the sale coming up next week. I'll be popping on here, I'm sure, a lot in the next week or so. Just to remind you, take a look at your paper supplies. Are there any colors that you need to get? Are there any inks, dyes that you're wanting to do? Make sure you, you take advantage because they don't have sales like this too often. I think last year they had a Black Friday sale the years before where there were certain hours of the day that you could get a... a a certain thing on sale but then you're dealing with a lot of shipping costs so this is nice that you can compile your order get it done and there's just one shipping cost so that's that's terrific all right if you have any questions about anything that i showed you here i'm a little fumbly today as my first live getting back into the saddle here so i'd love to help you out just let me know and otherwise take another look at this cute little guy here very simple card. Love it. That was really fun to do. All right, guys, have a great afternoon.